So I've just done a tutorial, a full walkthrough on how to flash Betaflight 4.4.2 and it is sexy. I'm RC Addict and you're going to learn something today. Sorry Joshua, in fact I'm RC Addict, I'm skint, I don't have a nice house and I don't have a nice muscle car. But <laughs> you're still going to learn something today. What the hell's this frequency thing about? I'm talking about ESCs, by RPM, BL Heli 32, bi-directional D-Shot, by RPM, 24K to 1 to 8K. Whew. Back in the day when it was brushed motors, yeah, and you had a commutator in the middle, uh, brushes, uh, you had when you put the frequency up on a motor, you had a nice whoosh, whistle. And down in the low end, if you put the frequency down, you didn't have that whistle. What you did have was Ow. a lot of it, yeah? So in other words, if you put your hand in the way and tried to stop it, especially if it's a drill, it's gonna bloody hurt. But turn that frequency up, it's gonna whistle. You're gonna hear a whoosh, okay? So, low end torque, braking, more torque, high end, 1 to 8k, mamba, I'm talking, yeah. Engine motor will be a lot smoother. It's like brake horsepower on a car. At the low end, you've got your pull away from nothing, yeah. You, you, you talk, right? Like a, a dragster at a, a track, yeah? And then once it gets going and that engine gets inertia through the flywheel, yeah? You can, you've got, you can change that frequency just like in a motor and you get a nice whistle. From the motor, that is. If it's the car, it's probably the turbo or an air leak. Now, have you ever wondered how your motor plays a tune? Have you ever walked past some transformers? You know, the big transformers. Not the robots in disguise. And heard them buzzing? Have you ever gone under like pylons and heard them buzzing? Well, pylons, they're a little bit different. That's to do with ionic atmospheric kind of plasma -y shit. There's no speaker in the motors. So this is called electromagnetic acoustics, or in this case, excitation, which is a electromagnetic engineer's name for putting a voltage to something. So electromagnetic excited vibrations. They haven't got little speakers in them. Don't worry, it's not a speaker you're gonna break when you crash. So what's actually happening there is the frequency is really, really low. 20 hertz I read but it may not be in this case but really really low and what it and obviously the PWM is sent to make the motor twitch backwards and forwards and that gives off a harmonic yeah so the structure of the motor okay is um, uh, the magnetic flux is such that it makes it vibrate something like that i'm not an expert on that field but that's where your harmonics come into it and your notches notch filters and stuff like that anyway back to the subject 24k to 1 to 8k listen to this clip and listen to the motors i'll slow motion it afterwards but this is 4.4.2 and this is sexy can't really test you outside, but... So straight away you can hear a whistle, yeah? I like my drones to be snappy, so my master multiplier, I know it's on... I've got it on 1.7 at the moment. Sorry, 1.8, and that's a lot. So listen to it whistle. Listen to the motors break. Now this is a perfect example of having your master multiplier too high without knowing until I slow it down, listen.
sounded really, really locked in until I slowed it down. The master multiplier, now I know on this drone, has to be around 1.5, something like that. But I've just flashed it. I showed you in that other video, yeah? Anyway, could you hear it? And it's basically shaking, but you can't see it. Now let's bump that master multiplier down a few notches, yeah? And now listen to the difference in the slow-mo. This isn't a tuning guide on PIDs, but that slow-mo replay actually shows the PIDs were too high. The oscillations, yeah? It's still a little bit too high. I'll take it down one more notch. What I wanted to show you and what you heard was the whistle. So the by RPM, so variable frequency. 24k on the on the low and 128k on the high now i don't know where them frequencies were all i know is that when you're hovering you're probably around 48 something like that then you punch it the air resists the props so the motors have to work harder so give more torque more torque and braking 24k 48k so the whole point of this thing is that variable pwm is audible hear it in the motors and 4.4.2 is freaking amazing and i can't wait to fly it listen guys i hope you learned something today i really do you know, as I say, I'm not an expert in acoustic vibrations, um, you know, but do you get the point? Do you get the message? I hope so. I'll see you next time. RC Addict. RC Addict. Listen, guys, we learn off each other. If I'm wrong about anything, then please let me know.